Hey, how's it going? Today we are replacing the coil springs on the 1999 Jeep Cherokee. We've already done the driver's side, and this is a comparison of the original factory coil spring on the left and a um, up, up country coil spring on the right. You can obviously see the difference. So we're gonna start on the passenger side by jacking up the front end and putting jack stands underneath the frame. Now we've already disconnected the sway bar. I'm just gonna pull this down out of the way. <clears throat> go ahead and take the bushings off. We're also gonna take the shock absorber completely out and out of the way. There's a two 13 millimeter bolts and nuts here. And then up top here, I'm gonna take that 13 millimeter nut off so we can take the shot completely out. The coil spring is also held in place on the bottom by this nut and clip. I'm gonna put a little PB blaster on there so when we come back to loosen it, we won't have any trouble. Oh. I was wrong, it's actually a 15 millimeter nut up on top of the shock. We're gonna go ahead and get that now. We'll find that nut in a minute. <clears throat> then uh, let's go ahead and try to reach in here and take this bushing off. And now to remove the 13 millimeter nuts. Quick work on that one. to lift that shock up and out. All right, let's see if we can loosen this nut. 13 millimeter. Okay, that should be loose enough. There we go. Let's move that out of the way. Now, because we have the Jeep jacked up at the axle, the spring is fairly compressed. However, we're gonna put spring compressors on to compress them even more so that when we drop the axle down, we can remove the spring fairly easily. So I put the spring compressors on as close to 180 degrees away from each other as possible. We just need to be able to get to that bottom nut to tighten, and same on this side.
the spring compressed quite a bit. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drop the axle just a little bit. And that's one way to get them off. Or, um, like I said, the spring clamps were not completely 180 degrees apart from each other, but they do have these locking jaws, which saved us a little bit. Well, we've got the uh, other spring on, and now we're gonna loosen the spring clamps. Don't forget, don't forget to put that retainer clip on and tighten it down. All right, let's get that shock absorber put back on. Let's get that sway bar link put together. Now let's get that wheel on. Now let's let it down. Alright, let's uh, button her up and take her for a drive. Jack. We'll see you next time.